Well, welcome to Daily Devotions with yours, Apostle Des. Uh, we're going through the book of Psalms and we're in Psalm 34 today. So we're going to be having a look at that Psalm today and see what God is saying in that. It's 22 verses. So we'll see whether we do the whole Psalm or just half of it. But don't forget to leave a comment um if uh, God speaks to you on a, a certain verse, if there's a certain verse that God speaks to you on in this psalm, Psalm 34, then, then please leave a comment because that will encourage other people as well to see how God is speaking to you personally. So, Father, we pray that every person who watches this, that they would be greatly encouraged with your word and that you would empower them with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Psalm 34, this is a psalm of David when he pretended to be insane before Amblek, who drove him away, and he left. So, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips, is the praises of God are always on your lips? Are you praising God every single day and every single night? Uh, David says, I will praise him always on my lips. See, God wants us to see us praising him from our hearts out of our lips to bring an extol in him at all times, at all times. In the good times, in the bad times, when everything is going right, when everything is going wrong, he wants us to have that lifestyle of praise and adoration unto the living God. My soul will boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Let us glorify God. See, that's what it's all about. Whether you're in ministry or not, it's whatever we do for the Lord, it's all so that he gets all the glory, isn't it? It's not about us, not about our ministry, not about our church. It's about glorifying God in everything we do for him. I mean, you know, only he deserves the glory. Hallelujah. So let us exalt the name of God together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. What fears do you have watching this? Well, the Lord will deliver you. When? When we seek him. I sought the Lord and when we seek the Lord, he answers us and he delivers us from those fears fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. Hallelujah. Our faces are radiant when we spend time in the presence of God. Remember Moses, when he came out to the presence of God, they said his face was radiant and they had to cover his face because his, the glory of God was upon him. Why? Because he'd been in the presence of of the glory of God and his face was radiant hallelujah glory bitter God this poor man called and the Lord heard him he saved him out of all his troubles the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers him when we fear the living God God sends his angel his angel encamps around us. I was at the Apple Bay Fur Mission over the weekend and I knew I was aware that God's angels was with us. God's angels was with us in the midst of those thousands of people as we shared the gospel. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints. For those who fear him lack nothing. So when we fear the Lord, the angel of the Lord encamps around us 
and he delivers us from our fears. And it says, fear the Lord. And when we fear him, his saints, we will lack nothing. We will not lack nothing, it says, when we fear him. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Those who seek the Lord will lack no good thing, praise God. Come, my children, listen to me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. He will teach us the fear of the Lord, that reverent fear, that reverent awe of who God is. Praise be to God. So there's the first 11 verses of Psalm 34. We'll continue tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.